Hey, good morning, guys. It's Steve Cal 5 J. I hope everyone's doing okay out there this morning. What I want to go over today is I want to talk about programming your FT991A for different repeater PL tones. Not shifts, but repeater tones. So I had a couple of subscribers ask the question, and it's kind of something I thought was kind of interesting. So what happens if you have a repeater that has a different uplink tone versus a downlink tone? So I kind of went through the manual. I really couldn't find a quick answer, but I came up with a proposal to use split operation. So I think this would work in theory, because essentially what we're doing is we're using two VFOs. The VFOB will be our transmit VFO, and VFOA will be our receive VFO. And what we'll do is on each one of those VFOs is we'll designate specific PL tones and that's how we will be able to hopefully I don't have any way to test this because I don't have a repeater but I'm going to do this video maybe if uh, some of the guys out there have a video maybe you could try it and test it and let me know if this is even close and maybe there's a different way to do it uh, I'd be uh, real interested uh, to share that with me because that's something I haven't been able to figure out alright so let's get started here so what we're going to do the repeater I'm going to use today is 146.760 now this repeater normally has a PL tone of 146.2 with a negative 600 kilohertz shift. So that's that's standard ham stuff, no big deal there. But what we're going to do today is we're going to program different PL tones. And we're going to program one PL tone in VFOB and we're going to re record a second VFO tone in VFOA. So this is, if you've ever done split operations, this is a little bit about kind of how it works. Basically what happens is you use VFOB as your transmit, and what you do is you just scan VFOA, which is at an alternate frequency. So um, you know, we'll do a video on that later. That, that would be kind of fun to do. All right, let's get started here. So what we'll do first is I'm going to clear out anything over here. Uh, I'm going to clear these little guys out right here. We're going to go over here. We're going to make sure this is simplex. Make sure that is clear there. Then we're going to turn the tone off. Make sure that's clear. So we don't have any settings here right now. So what we'll do first is we're going to set the transmit tone. The way we'll do that is go to band 144, band enter 146.160. Press enter. This is our transmit frequency. We're going to turn on split operations and we're going to move this setting down into Bravo B. But we're not ready to do that because we still need to program it in Bravo A. So typically, the way what I figured out is you do all your programming in VFO A and then once you get that set correctly, then you turn on split operations, flip it, now those settings now move down to the alternate VFO. So let's finish programming here. So now we're going to set a tone. We're just going to set, this is our transmit frequency. So we're going to set a tone on this one of 146.2. That's going to be accessing the repeater. So when I transmit on this frequency, that tone of 146.2 will be in that transmission and it will open the repeater. So let's go ahead and set that. going to go to tone. Now I only want an encoded tone only at this point, I believe. Encode only, which means I'm only sending a tone. However, my squelch on the receive side is open, so I do not require a tone to open the squelch. It's, it's open squelch on the receive. So there's our tone, we're encode only, tone only. We're going to set this to 146.2. Okay, 146.2. Now we're going to press the memory button here. Don't really need to right now. Um, now what we're going to do is we've got this programmed. Now I'm going to activate split operations down here. Right here, see the split button? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this button right here, this AB button, and that's going to flip. That's going to take the programming that I just did in VFO A and I'm going to flip it to B. See what just happened? All my settings now are in Bravo B. That's the transmit frequency, 146.160, and it's going to have that specific tone of 146.2. We're still simplex. Remember, we're still simplex. So 
Now what we're going to do is now we're going to take VFOA, which is now going to be our download frequency or the receive frequency, and we're going to program that to 146.760, but here we're going to put a different tone in it. That's where we're going to separate the tone. All right, so we're going to go here. We're programming in VFOA, band, okay. Now we're going to go band enter, 146 dot seven six zero 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 enter now I have to set the tone so what we'll do next is we'll go to FM list we'll go over here to tone now I'm going to turn the tone on for the receive encode only Actually, this one here, I believe, on the receive, we might we might actually be able to use CTCSS in both of these settings. Um, since we're doing the receive here, I could probably toggle that to CTCSS. But you know what? For right now, let's just leave it in encode. It'll be open. We won't we won't really don't need a code here. Um, if the repeater had a PO code on the downlink side, we could change that to CTCSS. Let's put it to CTCSS. Let's just assume the repeater has a code. So again, everything's cool here because on our transmit frequency, we are sending a tone. Now on the receive frequency, by using CTCSS, now we're re requesting that a tone be sent from the repeater to open the squelch. So I think that's cool. We'll just leave that there. So we've got our tone set, and now we need to set the tone. This is where we're going to set it to 88.5. 88.5. Now what's happened now is I've told my receiver only to open to tone 88.5. Nothing else. Anything else comes across here, if it doesn't have the tone 88.5, it's not going to come across my receiver. So let's go ahead and clear this out. Now you might ask, well, how do I know it's right? How do I know it's right? So let's, this is kind of my little validation. Remember, everything in this box here is VFOA. Notice right here, VFOA. The other clue you have is, you see this little red arrow right here? This red arrow is indicating what your transmit frequency is, telling us it's down. It's down from the receive frequency. So let's look at let's look at our settings. When you're in the frequency in this box here will be visible on the FM list. So when I press FM list, all the settings relative to this frequency will be shown, and that's the uh, receive frequency on my repeater. <clears throat> so when I press FM list, notice our tone is 88.5. That's what we want. We also want CTCSS. But now you might ask, well, how do we check the transmit? Go back up here, flip this button again. Notice what happens. These VFOs are going to flip. Now we've moved the transmit frequency back to VFOA. It also shifted, but that's okay. All we're going to do here is look. I'm going to press FM list. Our tone is encode only, which is what we set it for. And there's our tone of 146.2. So what we have here is we have two VFOs, two different frequencies, 600 kilohertz apart. One has a transmit tone of 146.2. The receive tone, which is 600 kilohertz difference on VFOA, will be 88.5. So let's flip these back. Now this, I believe, will work. I don't have any way to test it because I don't have a repeater that has different codes. But I think fundamentally this will give us what we need to have a repeater with the standard offset of 600 kilohertz, but a unique uplink tone and a unique downlink tone. So anyway, give this a try. Uh, I'd be real curious if this works. Uh, if you have a repeater in your area, if it does it work for some reason? Message me back, send me an email, and we'll figure it out. Uh, 
Um, and I'm going to go. I'm going to continue to look for repeaters. If I can find one, maybe I can test it. But uh, anyway, let me know what this, uh, what you think. Hopefully, this will work. And uh, 73, and have a have a good week, okay? And uh, oh, we had the time change this morning, so uh, boy, that was a that was a surprise. All right, guys, have a good week. Thanks again for watching. 73.